You've just installed Ranch Hand and now you want to start entering data. Well, the first thing you're going to need is a data set to put that data into. In this video, I'll show you how to create that data set. Hi, this is Mark with Ranch Hand, and a data set is where all of your Ranch Hand data is stored. It's similar to a database, but includes many other files, such as reports. You can have an unlimited number of data sets. The first thing that we're going to do is go up to File up in the toolbar here, click File. And we're going to go to Manage Ranch Data Sets. Now we currently have a data set here, C4 Ranch. Uh, we added that when we first installed Ranch Hand. We're going to create another data set. So let's hit the Create Ranch Data Set button. We're going to hit Create Data Set. Notice there's another button here to create a sample data set, which is just simply a data set that's pre populated with. A number of records, uh, animals, health treatments, breeding records. It's very helpful when you're looking at some of these screens or reports for the first time to have data in there or that you don't have to enter animals yourself just to try to test stuff out. But in this case, we're going to create a new data set by clicking the first button. And notice it put a little two there. It defaults to your ranch name. And we already have a data set called C4 Ranch. And it puts something else there because this name needs to be unique. And so it needed to make it slightly different than the C4 Ranch there. But I'm just going to change it totally and call it, let's say, test. And we're going to put a description in. Here is my test data set. And we're going to hit next. And these are just different folders to locate things. 99% of the time, you're just going to keep the defaults unless you're doing something really special IT wise. And so we're just going to hit next. And here it's going to add some additional data. Uh, I would urge you to keep it. It's things like uh, different breed codes or some health treatments, different information. You can always go and edit this or change it or add to it. A lot easier to delete things or change it than to add it the first time. So I would just keep it in there. Hit next. We can edit our ranch settings now or we could do it later. Uh, there's really no need to do it right here. Let's hit next again. And we have a newer version of data. We have some additional data that has been updated since this version of the software came down. So it's always good to have the latest and greatest. And we're going to run this update. And we have our second data set here. So we can see we have two data sets here. And uh, we can uh, pick one or the other. So let's close this. And a good way to go back and forth when you have multiple data sets up here at the top, you can click one of these to go to them very quickly. And we can see up in the title bar that we're currently running C4, or if we wanted to go back to test. It tells us that we're running the test data set here. There you have creating a new data set. I would urge you to watch the general usage videos. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps.